international governments, especially the world's liberal democracies, should be thinking, this is a wake-up call. Because we are living in a world right now where a group of surveillance empires dominate the digital world. Uh, there has been no democratic law to stop them. They've declared private ownership over all of our personal data. Uh, they have declared absolute control over critical information systems and infrastructure. They have control and authority over the world's knowledge and information and the systems and infrastructures that carry that knowledge and information. If they want to turn it off, they can turn it off. If they want to tweak it, they can tweak it. If they want to put it back on, they can put it back on. They can do whatever they want. Why? Because for the last 20 years, while they've been developing these capabilities, our democracies have been sleepwalking. So the rest of us are marching naked now into this digital century. So what sort of laws would be appropriate? We need laws that put our personal information back under our control. Our personal lives have always been regarded as inalienable. These are sovereign rights of the individual, but they've simply usurped those rights. And you know, the, the battle that's going on right now in Australia is a battle that began in 1997 when the young Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who of course were the founders of Google, decided to crawl the web and take all websites and rank them in their new search engine. And you know, those website owners were angry and they were calling Stanford University where these young men were students and they were complaining and they were threatening lawsuits. But the two young men decided to ignore the complaints. They just kept taking and honestly, that kind of set the template for the world that we have come to inherit. We have a lot to dial back because of course they did the same thing to journalism. And that has left us vulnerable to the scourge of disinformation uh, that really is tearing our societies apart. But are they too big to actually take on now? The only democracy has the countervailing power to take on these huge corporations. So our challenge is how do we reclaim the digital and digital technology for democracy and for society so that we can actually get on with our lives and look forward to the democratization of knowledge and solving all kinds of you know, really big problems that the digital century was supposed to offer us. The, the hard and harsh truth here, Krishnan, is that as we move into this third decade of our digital century, we have a critical question to ask ourselves. We can have a surveillance society or we can have a democracy. It is literally impossible for us to have both. We decide how we're going to be governed in a democracy. Facebook can do whatever it wants. So can Apple, so can Google, so can Microsoft, so can Amazon. It's unaccountable power. Today, we are all Australians and every government is the Australian government because we all face this unaccountable power in exactly the same way. It's time for democracy to wake up and we together, citizens and lawmakers, build the infrastructures of laws and rights that we need to tether all of this to fundamental rights, tether it to public service, and make this digital century safer democracy.